Hello again, it's John from Howick Junction. Just a short video of last weekend and my trip to Milton King's Great Electric Train Show 2022. And uh, at the end of this small chatty bit, there will just be some stills and short videos of the layouts I saw on the Saturday of last week. But I just wanted to go through just a few of the purchases I've bought on Saturday. First of all, I've added to my stock of rolling stock. And uh, first of all, I've got a Mark I parcels coach in Crimson and Cream. And this was 30% uh, off. Um, I've got this for 33.94, so a very good price. Because usually it's roughly in shops or online. I sort of push on nearly 45 pound to, to 50 pound. So that was, that was a good saving there. And that was boost to my Mark One stock, so it's a, a Mark One parcels break, so that'd be good. So I've got a maroon one, so it's nice to mix them up with a crimson cream. Then I've gone for another <coughs> Hornby Mark One coach, crimson cream again. This is a second open coach, once again, 30% off, so it's 3394. I've got off a stall and uh. So I've got my Mark 1 coaches are really looking good now. They have some good rates. And then finally, another one to my Southern collection for my um, Express Trains, my Merchant Navies of Battle of Britain class, or even my Lord Nelson. This is a BR Munzel 6th compartment brake third. So um, what I needed. So that's completed that setup as well for my Southern region. So it all, all really good. And the reason I know I needed these because I have this um, a printed coaching stock list. It's on the computer, so I just print it off, and so I just know when I go to shows and I want to see something on a bargain price. I know I haven't got that item already. I know you can renumber them, but you know I just don't bother with that. So, um, so quite a few people sort of well organised having that. You know, I don't know if it's a bit well organised or OCD, whatever, but uh, it's good that you've got a, a database so you know what to have. The trouble is, I got one for my Southern, I got one for my Western, I got one for my Mark 1s, but I haven't got my LMS list on here, and it's not on the computer, so I must have deleted it by mistake, so it's a bit annoying, so I have to go back up the loft and just do another stock check of my LMS, because there were some LMS coaches there at the show. A good price so um, but I didn't want to get them just because I already had them coaches so um, so I just didn't bother getting them in the end um, another little purchase I went to was the West Hill wagon work stand again and got myself some Buckeye close coupling for my Hornby coaches so I'll be fitting them to the ones I just bought at the weekend so we um, restocked them I was, might as well just went to the store and get some that those postage and while I was there I noticed Charlie from Chadwick Model Railway was there at the same time as me, in deep conversation with one of the staff members, so I didn't want to interrupt him and have a chat with him, so it's a shame really. It'd be nice to have a one-to-one -one with Charlie of Chadwick Model Railway, so maybe next time, Charlie. Um, and far, another thing I've brought was um, a, a nice addition to the railway, actually. Um, we was walking around the show with me and Malcolm, and that's these ones carrying these boxes. And, uh, where, and I should have asked where they were getting them from, but in the end we did find the stand. And the stand is Train Sporters, and that's done by Tony Clark. And here's one here, the 10 litre, eight slot storage box. So this is your storage sets for your trains, or what you make up. So this is like sort of 10 litre one, so you've got eight slots. <clears throat> so you've got a nice piece of foam on top. Then you have nice little sleeve wallets to put your coaching or engines in if you can add a protection. Then you have your little gel packs inside to stop the old moisture in that. And then you have these foam and you pull out the inserts. So once you pulled them out, you've got eight or six down here, sorry. So six there, um, and yeah, as you can see, if I hold up, two on the sides, six in the middle. So that would be perfect for me 
and my boat train because obviously I can have the six coaches in the middle, my Pullman coaches, and then on the sides I can put one for my luggage man and the other one for the locomotive. It's got a lockable lid. And on the side, you got your date, box number, stock description, and other information. So I could write in there um, Southern Boat Train, um, Pullman Coaches with Merchant Navy. So I know what's in that box. So if I want to run that train, I'll just pull it from underneath the layout, get it out, set the train up and away we go. And then the other boxes for the other ones as well. So I thought it was quite an ingenious design. And I tell you what, that's an answer to our prayers because obviously you, you think, well, I have to put some um, chest of drawers up in the loft to put them in to store the, the logos in and whatever or display cabinet but we ain't got much space to put the display cabinet so this is a brilliant idea so it means we just put these under the under the layout boards and then uh, what chrome ever we want we'll just get this out from underneath the, the boards and we know what's in each box so you don't come rummaging around so you know what train you want so that's a brilliant idea so well done Tony Clark for designing that and uh, I'll be purchasing more of these. So um, I actually get a 10 litre one, a 20 litre one. Um, this one cost me, as you said, diagram my house set up. This one cost me £30. Um, they do bigger ones, uh, well a bit more money, I think that, but that one was 40 something. Uh, but they did say to me that if we ordered online, that that would be free postage. So what I'll do, I'll put the link to the company in the bottom description so you can have a look yourself and um, see if that's your kind of thing but uh, that's brilliant you know for us it's going to be ideal in situation of storage because also we ain't got a fiddle yard anymore and the last purchase is behind me here i've been wanting this picture for many years um, it's from james green the artist and i've seen on his stall when he's been to shows I've been sort of eyeing it up for a long time and eventually I've got it. So I've got it at my pride of place hanging on our dining room wall. So, um, and my wife's happy with it too. So it's good. I really leave that picture very atmospheric. The sun glinting on the side of the loco in the coach. And a bit of steam come out of the glass pipe. So, uh, no, one happy customer. Now, onto the railway layouts. There was a few layouts what I enjoyed looking at. First of all, there was, um, I think it was Lob Gill, or it sounds Welsh, but it's not, it's set in the northeast. And then you had Oakenshaw, East Quay, White Acres, and Making Tracks, that's the Pete Waterman layout. And obviously when you go to the Hobby Show, you always get one of these um, programs. So if I look at the description of layout, so the first of the Lob Gill one. It's set in the 1950s and 60s northeast, around sort of um sort of around the Yorkshire Dales area, that's really set in. So <coughs> excuse me. So that was a nice little layout. The other one was Oakenshaw. Um Brief description. This is 1960s. Once a double gauge. Once again, that was set in Yorkshire, uh, sort of somewhere near Keighley, so where the Heritage Railway is now. Um, this is a fictitious West Yorkshire mill town, um, and then you can see there's some scratch buildings in there that made all scratch fill. So that was a well detailed layout. Really impressed that one. So if you see on the circuit, it's worth a look. So it's Oak and Shore. Then you had the East Key one. White Acres was another impressive layout. Um, just number 30. So that was set in the 90s, Midland region. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Sorry about the noise as well. That's the old fan for the old wood burner going around. So that's set in the 90s and uh, that was a really good layout. Um, 
scenic details were very good. Uh, there, were, there was four track levels on that layout, so that's a really good feature. So uh, that's worth a look as well. And obviously that Pete Waterman making tracks layout. But like I said, at the end of this video now, we'll just run some short clips. You know, they are short and some stills from the layouts I enjoyed on the Saturday. So um, once again, thanks for watching as always, and I, I appreciate your comments. And as always, I say, stay safe and keep playing.
Yeah. 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 Yeah.